Hey gang, and welcome back. Just so you know, you can use the promo code MTGMUDSTA, all caps, one word, at flipsidegaming.com to get 10% off orders $10 or more. You can also use the promo code at Original Magic Art on everything except for paintings. And finally, you can use the code at mtg.multizone.ca to get 10% off of your orders of singles. Using the code will help you save some money and help out the channel at the same time. Just thought you might want to know, Flipside Gaming is doing another giveaway, this time for a box of Modern Horizons. From May 13th until June 16th, if you place an order of $10 or more, you'll be entered to win. You can now also enter for free by mailing Flipside Gaming a self-addressed envelope or postcard with your information on it. I've also included a link below with more information. It's one entry per person, so good luck and have fun. Today's game features the Jersey Boys once again, and it's a bit of an older one. Today, Matt is playing his Niv-Mizzet Payrune deck, keeping a Sky Diamond, Ponder, Phyrexian Metamorph, Cyclonic Rift, Island, Shivan Reef, and Desolate Lighthouse. Trevor has dusted off Vile Smasher and Ikra again, keeping Explosive Vegetation, Mana Geyser, Imp's Mischief, Vandal Blast, Cinder Glade, Temple of Malice, and Canyon Slough. Mike is rocking his Murko Voss deck, keeping Drowned Catacomb, Two Swamps, an Island, Virtus the Veiled, Phyrexian Arena, and Aqueous Form. I'm going for the double Demir deck with Drownu, keeping Watery Grave, Fetid Pools, Flooded Strand, Disallow, Mystical Tutor, Unholy Grotto, and Ponder. I win the die roll and start us off. I play a Fetid Pools tapped and pass. Mike plays a tap Drown Catacombs, passing. Trevor plays a Temple of Malice, scrying one and keeping it on top. Matt didn't get the memo, and he plays an untapped island, casting Ponder. He passes to me while he makes his decision. I play a Flooded Strand, and also cast Ponder. I decide to shuffle and then draw a card, passing to Mike. Mike plays a Swamp, and passes. Trevor plays a Canyon Slough, passing. Matt plays another island, and he casts a tap Sky Diamond. I play a tap Watery Grave, passing. Mike plays an island, and casts Virtus the Veiled. Trevor plays a tap Cinder Glade, passing to Matt. Matt plays a Shivan Reef as his land for turn, and brings out a Brawl. I play an island for turn, and pass. Mike also plays an island, and puts Aqueous Form on Virtus. Moving to combat, he swings the creature at Matt, who uses an unoverloaded rift to bounce the creature back to Mike's hand. Mike still gets the scry trigger though. Mike then moves to his second main phase, recasting Virtus. Trevor plays a mountain, and casts Explosive Vegetation, finding two basics and passing. While Trevor is searching, I crack my flooded strand to find a basic island, taking one. Matt plays his Desolate Lighthouse, and pays three mana and two life to cast a Phyrexian Metamorph, having it become a copy of Virtus. Matt then casts a Serum Visions, drawing a card and scrying two. At the end of Matt's turn, I cast Factor Fiction, targeting Trevor. I promise to deal with Virtus, and Trevor gives me all five of the cards. I draw for turn, and play an island. I then cast a Mana Vault, and moving to my end step, discard three cards. Mike plays a Sunken Hollow as his land for turn, which comes in untapped, and he swings a Virtus at me. Life is a resource anyway, and I take one, dropping to 38, and then lose half my life. In his second main phase, Mike puts a Gastlord of the Fugue on the stack, which I counter with Cryptic Command, and bounce Virtus back to Mike's hand. Trevor drops a Primal Amulet in his main phase, and passes. Matt plays a Reliquary Tower as his land for turn, passing. Is this a control game, or what? I play an Unholy Grotto as my land for turn, and I cast my own Primal Amulet. I then pay 4 to cast a Dark Petition, and put a counter on the Amulet, also gaining 3 black for meeting the Spellmaster requirement. I drop Swiftfoot Boots with 2 of the black, and I then tap a blue to help cast Windfall, which has been reduced by 1 from the Amulet. Trevor isn't super keen on wheeling his hand, so uses Red Elemental Blast to counter it. I then pass to Mike. Mike re-recasts his Virtus, and then drops a Phyrexian Arena, passing to Trevor. 
Trevor plays a Ghost Quarter and pays 4 mana for his Mana Geyser, gaining another counter on his amulet. He gains 12 red mana and casts a Wildest Dreams, putting enough into the X's so he can return his graveyard to his hand. And he also gets to add another counter to his amulet. Trevor then recasts his Explosive Vegetation, adding the final counter to the amulet, and flips the artifact to reveal a Primal Wellspring. He then goes to find two basics, which he'll do at the end of turn. Before that though, he overloads a Vandal Blast. Matt responds to this with Factor Fiction, choosing me. Sadly, he takes the pile with High Tide rather than the counterspell that I've been hoping he'd go for, and all the artifacts get destroyed anyway. Matt plays an island and casts Sensei's Divining Top. He then passes. I play a Bloodstained Mire and ask to look at my opponent's graveyards. It's at this moment that I realize my addition of Mnemonic Betrayal is probably going to be a short-lived one, and I pass to Mike. Mike loses one to his arena, drawing a card from it, and for turn. We then see a Coastal Piracy hit in the field, and he swings Virtus at Trevor. Before damage is dealt though, Trevor casts Terminate on Virtus, and gets a second copy, putting it also on Virtus, and he dies. Trevor brings out the flagship commander of his deck, Vile Smasher, and brings in her friend, Ikra, before passing to Matt. At the end of turn, Matt uses his top. Matt plays a mountain, and I crack my mire, taking one to find a sunken hollow. Matt then passes, and at the end of turn, I use Word Invention where X is 4. As priority gets to Trevor, he uses the Red Elemental Blast again to stop the spell, and uses the copy to blow up Coastal Piracy. He then rolls for Vile Smasher's trigger, and Matt takes one. My turn is over quite quickly, as I draw for turn and pass. Mike loses one to his arena trigger, drawing from it and for turn. He casts a Wayfarer's Bobble in his main phase, and thinks about cracking it, but decides to save it. Trevor draws and heads to combat. He swings both Ikra and Vile Smasher at me for five, and he gains 10 life from Eager's triggered ability as they connect. He then passes to Matt. Matt plays another island and casts Deep Analysis. He then flashes it back, losing 3 life as part of the cost, and draws 2 more. Matt then passes, and at the end of turn, I cast Forbidden Alchemy. I play Sunken Runes as my land for turn, and pass. Mike cracks his bobble at the end of my turn before starting his own. Mike loses one to the arena, and my plan of slowly waiting him out is coming into fruition. He plays an island, and brings it Obnixilus Reignited. He then upticks the walker, drawing a card and losing one life, effectively doubling the speed in which my plan will come to term. Trevor casts Sakura Tribe Elder in his main phase, rolling for the Vile Smasher trigger, which has Mike take two. Trevor then goes to combat, and he swings Vile Smasher and Ikra at Mike dealing 5 and gaining 10 once more. Trevor then passes, and Matt casts Mystical Tutor at the end of turn. He grabs a Force of Will, putting it on top, which is kind of concerning. Matt activates his top, drawing and playing the mountain that was sitting on top. He then pays 6, losing 1 life to his reef to cast Niv-Mizzet, Perun. He casts a Thought Vessel and passes to me. At the end of turn, I flash back for Bin Alchemy. This has Matt get to draw a card from the Niv trigger, and he also gets to ping up Nixilus for one. I play an island, cast Soul Ring, and pass to Mike. Mike loses one to the arena, drawing and drawing for turn. He also plays a Soul Ring, and Lord of the Void joins the game. Trevor decides to sacrifice his Sakura Tribe Elder, and goes to find a basic. And while he's searching, Mike upticks Obnixilus, drawing a card and losing a life. Trevor plays a tap Spine Rock Knoll, hiding away a card. He casts the cut half of Cut to Ribbons, dealing 4 damage to Brawl. Matt gets to draw a card from the Niv trigger, and he pings Obnixilus once more. Matt then uses Swan Song to attempt to counter the cut, and responding to Niv's trigger, I cast Muddle the Mixture to counter the Swan Song. Matt draws from my counter spell, dealing 1 to me with Niv. He then exiles Trickbind to cast Force of Will for free, and also loses one life. Trevor is quick to use an Imp's Mischief to redirect the Force to counter the Swan Song, and Brawl dies. 
At this point, Trevor thinks it's pretty safe to recast his Mana Geyser. This triggers Niv again, and Matt draws a card and pings Trevor. I use a Disallow to try and stop the spell, and Matt draws a card from Niv and pings Trevor for one again. Thankfully, the spell is countered, and going for revenge, Trevor hits me for another 5 with his commanders, gaining 10 life. Matt plays an island, and casts Gilded Lotus. He casts his own copy of Mana Geyser, and having spent most of our resources to try and stop Trevor, the table has no choice but to let it resolve. Matt also draws a card and pings Trevor for 1 with Niv's trigger. Matt then casts a Faithless Looting, drawing for Niv, pinging Trevor, then drawing 2 and discarding 2. He also gets to ping Trevor twice from the drawing 2 from Faithless. Matt then recasts his top, and then casts High Tide, which has him drawing a card and pinging Trevor again. Matt then has a clever impersonator come in as a copy of Gilded Lotus, and he brings out Thousand Year Storm. He then tops, taps the top to draw a card, and pings Trevor for one. He then casts an Aetherflux Reservoir, which isn't a great sign. At this point, things go sideways for the table, and rather than go point for point through it all, I'm going to distill it down as I fast forward. Basically what happens is Matt starts to cast a lot of cheap spells, gaining more life and getting more and more copies with Thousand Year Storm. He finally finds and casts Turnabout, and gains about 6 copies of it, which he uses to untap his lands and floats a ton of mana. This gives him the fuel to continue casting his cantrips, gaining more draws, pinging us more and more, before finally resolving a Winds of Change, which will let him basically gain enough triggers from Niv to kill the entire table. Game review time, so I think it's safe to say that Mike brought a spoon to a knife fight. From what I've seen of his deck, a lot of it relies on combat, dealing damage, and creatures, and unfortunately against three other decks that are hard control slash combo, there's a lot of board wipes between them, and Mike's creatures were very unlikely to stick around for very long, let alone connect. I'm very thankful to Matt for showing me the power of Thousand Year Storm. When I first saw it, I dismissed it as being a win more card, requiring you to have 6 mana at least, and then a bunch more to be able to do anything with it. Naturally, since this is EDH, having billions upon billions of mana isn't a hard thing to achieve, and Matt was able to go off pretty easily this game. Trevor's Vile Smasher and Eker deck is always a pleasure to see, and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. I love that it's a fresh take on a Spellslinger deck, and you get to see a lot of cards that you traditionally wouldn't see if he was running blue. Sure, it does have a lot of the conventional mono black win cons with X in them, but it also runs fantastic counterspells and trick cards like Imp's Mischief. I think unfortunately I may have made a few mistakes, and not having a counterspell for the Vandal Blast really set me back. I wanted to make sure that I had some way to protect Drowny when I had him out, and usually you want to typically be able to tap him, and losing the boots basically cost me both of those things. Please be sure to tune in every Monday and Thursday at 11am Eastern Standard Time for a guaranteed new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at MTGMudsta, you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash mtgmudsta. And lastly, you can check me out when I stream at twitch.tv slash mtgmudsta. This video is brought to you in support by my patrons. If you're looking for a way to help out the channel, please be sure to visit the link below. Thank you all for watching this video, and don't forget, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.